Hello, you're on Public Spot. I'm George. Welcome to another episode on exploring layers of handling web requests. Last time, I've set up a reverse proxy with Nginx on Docker on my local machine. Today, I'm going to move this setup into an AWS EC2 instance that is publicly accessible. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. I'm going to use the same repository that I've created specifically for this series, which is also provided in the description below. And as always, I'll run git pull to ensure that I have the latest code locally. And then I'm going to create a new branch for my changes today. What I will be doing today involves writing the necessary Terraform code to set up a very basic public EC2 instance. This is where I'm going to set up my Nginx proxy and my web applications, which I have set up locally in the previous episode. So I'll create a new directory in here and call it EC2. I'm going to cd into this directory, and then I'll run my script to create my baseline Terraform code. If I expand my EC2 directory right here, I now have some baseline Terraform code to start with. So I'll start with updating my backend.tf to configure my project to use Terraform Cloud. And then on my main.tf, I'll start setting up my public EC2 instance. With this setup, I'm using T3 Micro as the instance type and set this instance to have a public IP address. I also added an identifiable name tag on this instance. Now, I need to specify the AMI for my instance, but I don't want to hard code the value. So what I need to do is create a data reference inside my data.tf. This data reference has two filters, one for the type of operating system and another for virtualization type. Also, another property is introduced called most recent and it's set to true to ensure that the latest available version is selected. The others property is a standard AWS canonical account where most of the virtual machines are created. And so now I'm going to update the AMI property on my instance resource to use this data reference. So back on my main.tf. I also need my EC2 instance to have the most basic AWS service permissions. And so I'm going to add the instance profile property. To set this up properly, I need to create an IAM instance profile resource. This resource needs to be linked to an IAM role, so I also need to create that resource. I need this role to assume an EC2 service, so I need to set up the relevant data reference for this. So back to my data.tf. Now that I have this policy document set up, I need to update the assume role policy property of my role resource to point to this data reference. So back to my main.tf. For the manage policy ARNs, I need this instance to be accessible via session manager. And so I'll add reference to the SSM manage instance role policy to the list. With my IAM role resource all set, I can now go back to my instance profile resource and update the reference to the IAM role. And then I also need to update my EC2 instance resource with the proper reference to the instance profile. The final piece of the EC2 setup is user data. This will configure my EC2 instance with the required tools and libraries that I need to make my web applications work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that property inside my AWS instance resource. What I need is setting up the data reference to define the initialization configuration. So on my data.tf, what I need inside this cloud in its script is to set up both Docker and Docker Compose. On my explorer, 
I have two configuration files that I've created previously and are sitting in the root of my repository. I need these two configuration files copied over to my EC2 instance in a specific directory, and I need to add steps to do this inside my cloud init config. Now that I have these files inside my instance, I need my cloud init script to cd to this directory and run docker compose out. And now I can go back to my EC2 instance resource and update the reference to this cloud init configuration. I also want to output the public DNS of my EC2 instance, so on my output.tf. Now I'm all set to start standing up my infrastructure. So firstly, I'll open my terminal and then export my AWS credentials and then export my Terraform workspace and set it to POC. I'm going to CD inside EC2 directory and now I can start running all the relevant Terraform commands starting with Terraform init. So what I need to do to fix this is go back to the root of my repository and set up ASDF reference to my Terraform binaries. And now if I go back to EC2 and run Terraform init, and now I'll create my Terraform workspace to fix this error. And then run Terraform plan and apply. To fix this error, I need to access my workspace in Terraform Cloud and change the execution mode to local. So let me switch to my browser. And this is my workspace. I need to go to Settings, General, and scroll down to Execution Mode and change that to local. Save Settings. And then switch back to my code. Now that the execution mode of my workspace has been updated, I'm going to go and rerun Terraform init and Terraform plan. So let me clear this terminal. The Terraform plan was successful, so now I'm going to go ahead and run Terraform apply. My infrastructure is now live. In the previous episode, I've set up my Nginx proxy to be accessible via ports 8080, 8081, and 8082. What I'm going to do now is copy this public DNS value output right here and then switch to my browser and try to access this DNS at port 8080. The page is not loading properly. This is because by default, not all ports are open to the public when creating EC2 instances. So let me switch back to my code to fix this. What I need is to add a security group resource that I need to attach to my EC2 instance. This security group resource is configured to allow access to the internet from the EC2 instance. However, I need an inbound rule that will allow access to ports 8080, 8081, and 8082 from the public. So I'll update this resource with this block. And now I'll update the security group property of my instance resource to point to this security group. And now I'll rerun my Terraform plan and apply to reflect my changes in my live infrastructure. Now that my infrastructure is updated, let me switch back to my browser. I'll start verifying my application on port 8080. And my Nginx is loading fine, so now I'm going to start verifying port 8081. So my Sonar application is loading fine, and lastly, port 8082. My Radar application is also accessible. Also, in the previous episode, I have a routing rule that evaluates the path of my URL and allows access to my blogging application. So on port 8080, if I add ghost on my URI, it brings me to the blogging application. That's it for today's episode.
The setup that you saw today is not a recommended approach to setting up accessibility for web applications. And so on the next episode, I'll enhance this infrastructure further to set up the AWS application load balancer as another layer of web proxy. So stay tuned. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like my content and help me spread the word about this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe.